Cain killed Abel, his brother, for because he wanted to be covered. He wanted his nakedness to be covered. He wanted his ego not to be affected. He wanted um, to remove his shame, shame, and for that he had to kill even a human being. So that's another level. It's one thing killing trees. It's one thing killing the soil. It's one thing killing the animals. But egocentrism will drive you. It will drive you till you destroy yourself. So that's why uh, only a life of service can save us. Only a life of love can save us. Only when you live a life that is focused on others, on doing good to others, on putting others before yourself, on um, blessing others, reducing your own ego egocentric desires and needs. Only that will save you from become, go, going from bad to worse and becoming a destroyer of what you are supposed to cater for. And that's what men have done now. Now men have gone uh, to all kind of measures and all kind of uh, ways to destroy the environment. The very same thing they are supposed to cater for. Now we know environment is a big problem. Uh, we have uh, climate change, we have um, ecological catastrophes just because of man. Why do we have those ecological catastrophes? Because we want to build industries and uh, we destroy the trees. We want to um, uh, build factories. We destroy the road. We want to build the road. We destroy the, the nature. We destroy the, uh, the, the ocean, the sea, the rivers because we want to get income. We want to get revenue. Um, but, but, you know, it goes worse than that. The things that we're supposed to, the, why do we have family? Family is for you to be able to focus on others rather than yourself. But what do you have today? Egocentrism has begun so bad that fathers now molest their children. Fathers um, you know, now uh, you know, devour their children. They devour people around them, their wives, their, their you know, children, their people, you know, all kind of demolition going on, all kind of destruction going on by, by people destruction of things that we are supposed to protect. In that sense, you can even say some animals are actually better than men because animals don't always devour their own. But we have surpassed the animals in the sense that you see, look at the newspapers, look at the court systems. You will see a lot of cases when mm, man uh, has gone beyond just the animals by devouring their own children, devouring their own family members devouring the people, the very same people they are supposed to be there to protect. And the whole reason is because they are not living a life of love, a life of service. They are not focusing on doing good to humanity, to others. They are not seeing the essence of their life as providing for others, caring for others, and making the world better. They are thinking that the essence of life is to care for themselves. The essence of life is to meet their own needs. The essence of life is egocentrism. The essence of life is, for, is, for, is survival. The essence of life is making a living. So as long as you are thinking like that, you are always going to be you know, driven to the extreme of evil. Uh, Satan, the greatest evil Satan uses against man and humanity is selfishness. So as long as you are going to f focus on self that way, it's going to always be driving all of us from one Mm, bad situation to another worse situation that we've never heard before and it's getting worse every, uh, every time you know it's, it's never going to be satisfied and it's never going to reach a limit because the old print th thing is that we've got to correct the 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 root and the origin of our philosophy our concept and philosophy of life has to be not about me but about the about others